Hello, this is Vikram. Hey, I'm very excited again to share some more updates uh, with you. And again, this is all based on uh, feedback that we get from you, our customers. And uh, so thank you for that. So the first update I wanted to share was uh, the introduction of a new style. So for example, let's uh, go from script to video here and um, um, give it a name here. So you, now you'll see a, a bunch of different templates here. And the difference in these templates is these templates have text that go from edge to edge. So we're introducing this full width template, if you will, full width style. And you can see uh, this one, this style goes edge to edge. This style goes edge to edge. So I can similarly, I can choose any of the styles I want. Say I, I wanna pick this one. So there you go. And uh, now suppose you, you, you wanna do this full width text on a different style. So you remember we had different, we had many styles uh, available. So, so you can pick any other style and say, I wanna go from uh, full width on that style. Let's say I like this lemon yellow style. So I can say, I wanna change this style. I wanna edit the style. And when I edit the style, I get an option to make it into a full width style. So all I have to do is press this button and it's gonna make it into a full width style. And it's gonna create a new style called Lemon Yellow 2 here. I can give it a different name. Of course, this, the size of that bar will depend on the size of your font. So you can change that too. Uh, you can say, I wanna make it a slightly smaller font. And now this, this style is saved in your library. You can apply to all the scenes if you want to. So, so that's one new feature that, that we're introducing today. And we're super excited about that. The other, the other new thing that, that we're introducing is this idea of uh, setting scene durations for all scenes at one go. So you'll see a new area here called scene duration and you can change, we can, we've improved that stepper, but the stepper is right here and you can still type the value that I want this scene for 10 seconds. But say you want, you want to make all the scenes 10 seconds long. So you can just simply press this, this uh, button here and it will make all the scenes uh, 10 seconds long. And you can see basically now my video is one minute long because it has six scenes. This only applies when you don't have a voiceover. When you have a voiceover, the voiceover overrides the scene, scene duration. So here's another thing that we've added in this release. This applies more to the edit video scenario, this purple box here. So um, say you have uploaded a video and, uh, and you've selected a couple of highlights, uh, one or two or more highlights, and you've generated videos from the highlights. So you know you can select the highlights, you can uh, select and, and say download these video clips. So you've generated these video clips. If you go under my projects and uh, go into this project now after you've generated the videos, it will actually show you the videos here. This one we, we introduced last time. You can see the multiple videos that got generated right here. But if you click on any one of these videos, you will now see the text file for, for, for these individual videos right here. So the SRT file, the TXT file, and the VTT file. Similarly, if I select the next one, I will see the, the SRT files for, the, for that video. So that way, if your project has multiple highlights and even a one big, uh, big video that you've generated for the entire project, that will show up here and you can then choose the individual video and then you'll see the, the text for that, uh, for that individual video. So that's a great way to organize all your data. Now it's all gonna stay in this one folder and, uh, and you can have access to all these text files. Uh, you don't have to go looking for it somewhere else. In addition to this, we've, uh, we've fixed a lot of bugs and we've improved Pictory for you. And, uh, and, and you'll see it'll keep getting better as, uh, as time goes on. Thank you so much and thank you again for everything that you do as a customer.